Israel pounded Gaza for the third day on Monday, lifting the death toll to 350 people. The United Nations reported that 60 of them were civilians. Warplanes bombed scores of sites Israel says are used by the Islamic militant group Hamas, including a mosque and the Hamas television station. The Israeli operation is the largest in decades, aimed at stopping barrages of rocket fire by Hamas into Israel. Ten days ago, Hamas suspended its ceasefire with Israel, complaining that Israel has been frequently closing Gaza's borders to goods and services. On Monday, it fired more than 60 rockets into southern Israel, killing two people. New York Times reporter Tigrid El Khodri is in Gaza. Hamas has been in complete control of the Gaza Strip for now a year and a half, meaning they are in every neighborhood. They uh, acted as a government, meaning they were they spread everywhere. Why the population here are traumatized? Because they don't know who's wanted among them, who is wanted by Israel, where are these Hamas guys. But at the same time, I will update you about the sentiment from the people of Gaza. They've been expressing that they are more angry than ever against Israel and not against Hamas. I heard many people saying this at Shifa Hospital today. These are the people who are injured. They lost loved ones. They blamed Israel. They blamed the U.S., the silence of the Arabs. They blamed Egypt, but not Hamas. And that was really shocking um, for me. Israelis have largely rallied behind the operation just a month before national elections in which security is a crucial issue. New York Times reporter Ethan Bronner is in Jerusalem. This is an operation that had been yearned for by a large portion of the population that felt that Israel had been taking too much rocket fire and not responding appropriately. So the uh, support at this moment is very, very high. The idea from Israel's perspective is to deliver a kind of decisive blow against this organization uh, and to say to it that it cannot threaten uh, the people in the south of Israel and send rockets any longer. The United States maintains that Israel has a right to protect itself. But UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon called for both sides to stop. Both Israel and Hamas must halt their acts of violence and take all necessary measures to avoid civilian casualties. The Israeli line from the military is that it's going to go as far as they need it to. And there are tanks and ground troops that are amassing along the border uh, with Gaza in the south. So it seems it could be just a bluff, but it seems likely that there will be some ground operations before this is over. Israeli airstrikes continued through the night as Israel's defense minister and its former prime minister, Ehud Barak, threatened all-out war to finally crush Hamas. But critics in Israel noted that years of occupation have failed to destroy Hamas and that the current operation risks even greater instability in the region.